Dear Math Enthusiasts, Welcome to today's Math Lab activities which are focused on circles and cyclic quadrilaterals. Throughout this session, we will explore the various mathematical concepts and properties related to these geometrical shapes. Also, let's dive into the world of circles and cyclic quadrilaterals and begin our journey of discovery and learning. Let's begin with the first Math Lab activity related to circle. It is about tangent to a circle. In this, we will know the meaning of tangent, how many tangents can be drawn to a circle at a point on it, at a point external to it and the properties related to tangents to a circle through activity. So first, what is a tangent? Tangent is a straight line that touches the circle in exactly one point, means a tangent is a tangible. Circle is a locus of infinite number of points which are at equal distance from a fixed point called center of the circle. At those infinite number of points, infinite tangents can be drawn. So at a point on the circle, exactly one tangent can be drawn. At those infinite number of points, infinite number of tangents can be drawn. From an external point, a minimum of one tangent can be drawn to the circle. A maximum of two tangents can be drawn to the circle. To begin with, the properties of tangents to a circle, radius and tangent at point of contact are perpendicular to each other. Now, properties of tangents that are drawn from an external point to a circle. For that, this is the template through which we will learn all the properties of tangents which are drawn to the circle from external point. Now, as I fold this triangle, this triangle perfectly superimposes on the other triangle that you see on the other side. Now, as I fold this, we realize that this triangle, which is a right triangle. Why is this triangle a right triangle? Why? Because this is the tangent and this is the radius. Radius and tangent at point of contact. Point of contact is A are perpendicular, standard right angles. So, this is a right triangle, there is another right triangle. As I fold this through this line, the line joining center of the circle to the external point from where tangents are drawn, this triangle perfectly superimposes over the other. This tells that this triangle and this triangle are congruent triangles. As I superimpose, I see that PA this is PA. Here point P is written, A is written. So PA is one tangent, PB is another tangent. Length of PA is the same as a PB. Why? Because they perfectly superimpose. So the first property of tangents drawn to a circle from external point is learned that they are of equal length. So about tangents, the first point is radius and tangent at point of contact are perpendicular. Second point is Lengths of tangents drawn to a circle from external point are equal. How are they equal? See, this length perfectly superimposes over this. The third point is, as we superimpose or as the triangle superimpose, we realize that this triangle and this triangle are congruent triangles. In that case, see, when this is superimposed, this angle perfectly superimposes this angle. And this angle perfectly superimposes this angle. That means these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal. So the third property is the line joining center of the circle to the external point from where tangents are drawn to the circle. That line actually is angle bisector of the angle formed between the tangents which are drawn to the circle from external point. And that line is also angle bisector of the angle formed between the radius line segments. This is a radius line segment. This is a radius line segment. So these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal and this length equal to this length. So this was about the paper folding technique. So you can take the cutout and paste it in the lab record to show this property. Now that was through paper cutting. The same thing by proof. So we have triangle POA and POB. So I consider the two triangles in that the matching parts, matching part where the right, the common side, which is actually the hypotenuse side opposite to right vertex is called hypotenuse. And this is a radius. This is radius. The radius are also perfectly superimposing. So in those two triangles, which were superimposing, 
in them the right angle is a right op is common hypotenuse oa ob is a radius which is common side so these two triangles through superimposition they are congruent through this property also rhs rule they are congruent and since they are congruent they are deriving three properties what we have learned first the tangents are of equal length this length perfectly superimposes on that so lengths of tangents drawn to a circle from external point are equal next op that is a line joining center of the circle to the external point from where tangents are drawn is actually angle bisector of aob which is aob this angle is aob these two angles are equal and this line is angle bisector of this angle apb means that these two angles are equal so angle bisector of apb so the final statement related to this property is tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal